Hi guys, it's Lori from Bears Mountain. It's great to be with you today. I'm here in beautiful Lakewood, Washington. The sun is shining, it's not raining, it's pretty warm outside. It's a great day, so I thought I'd take just a few minutes to pop in and talk to you about some of the things that I'm learning while I'm out here. Particularly, I want to talk to you today about Golden Seal. I visited a wonderful apothecary the other day, Cunning Crow. A big shout out to Ulva and Ren and all the herbalists there. It's a wonderful place. If you're in the Seattle area, I highly suggest you go by and talk to these wise, wise women. They can help you, I promise. <laughs> but back to Golden Seal. Um, while I was there visiting with them, I spoke to them about the, the problems that I see in my woods in the Appalachian region with Golden Seal. You see, I'm a digger, I'm a wild crafter, I'm a hunter, I'm a gatherer, I'm an ex-poacher. <laughs> I know what goes on in the woods. I, I know how the market on my end goes. So when I spoke to these wonderful people about Golden Seal, and they told me that all, even though when people come in and ask for Golden Seal, they try their best to educate him about alternatives such as barberry or the Oregon grape that grows right here in Washington in a huge abundance. People say, I write about golden seal on a blog. I want golden seal. They don't realize the travesty that's going on. They only know that they read it on a blog or they saw it on Facebook. Or their friend told him about it. For some odd reason, they seem to believe what's on a blog more than the herbalist standing in front of them. It's a real shame. It's a big shame. And if this continues, in 10 years, Golden Seal will be eradicated throughout the Appalachians. It grows in 27 states. 27 states. That's not a lot in the big scheme of things. The demand for Golden Seal has brought it to the fourth highest selling route in America. It's so sad. It breaks my heart. The root brokers in my area, they pay you $90 a pound for Golden Seal. To get a pound of golden seal, and this is all dry root, mind you, it takes two to three hundred plants. Contrary to what you may have seen in photographs or read on a blog, comb seal does not grow all throughout the woods in huge carpets. No, no, they're teeny tiny little patches. Honestly, where I live, I can't find golden seal. Five years ago, I was selling golden seal. I can't find it. It's gone. It's so sad. It's a beautiful plant. It helps the other plants in the woods. I don't understand how it helps the other plants in the woods, but I promise you, it does. All the plants in the woods, they work together. They grow together. That's not by accident. It's by some sort of design. So here we are. The demand for golden seal is going up, 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 up. The consumer, they're convinced that golden seal is all that they need. They're convinced that golden seal is like a miracle herb. The bourbon is the miracle part. It's not the golden seal. It's the bourbon. The bourbon is found in several other plants. Barberry, Oregon grape, parsley yellow root, a root that many herbalists know nothing about, a root that many consumers have never even heard of. But I promise you, 
the bright yellowness of parsley yellow root is a hundred times more than the golden seal. Now, I'm not an herbalist. Like I told you, I'm a hunter. I'm a gatherer. I don't understand how all this stuff works on an herbal level. I don't understand how the medicine works. I know the plants. I know that the woods is crying out. If you have the heart to hear, they're asking, they're begging for us to stop. Stop putting this demand on these plants. As consumers, we need to be aware of the things that happen, not only from the herbalist shop to our home and in our medicine, we need to understand where it's coming from. We need to understand the way that it's harvested. We need to understand the supply, the demand, the, the way that the broker system works with herbs. I promise you, if we continue, it's going to be gone. So I beg you, I beg you on behalf of all of the golden seal throughout the Appalachian. I beg you on behalf of the woods at Bears Mountain. Please consider other herbs. Take a few moments before you run to your herbal shop. Check out Plant Savers. They have a wonderful website of all of the at-risk plants, all of which are in very high demand in the herbal industry. See what the alternatives are. See how you can be part of making a difference. See how you can save our woods. While you're there, this is an amazing book, Planting the Future. A wonderful lady, um, Rosemary Gladstar. I've never had the honor of meeting this lady, but I've read lots and lots of her work. Her book, Planting the Future, really explains to you from harvest to making medicine, the at-risk plants, the other things that can be used in replacement of that, propagation. It's just a wealth of knowledge from a good, reliable source rather than your mommy herbal blog that you're visiting this week. Bloggers aren't bad. Please don't take me the wrong way about that. They're not, they're not bad people. They just want to write. They want to share. They, they want to share what they're learning. The sad part is, is they really don't understand. They really don't know what's going on in my woods. So please, next time you walk into your herbal shop and you ask for golden seal, Please take a moment to consider where that golden seal is coming from. How your purchase is impacting the demand. And please consider using alternatives to these plants. I can't thank you enough for your time. I can't thank you enough for your interest. Until next time, have a great one.